The face enhancement feature that comes with the new update in the Uniconverter is there to save footage where you or the person you recorded is out of focus. A feature like this is literally a lifesaver, especially when you have no chance to do another take, like when you're shooting a promotional video, for example. In this quick tutorial, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of face enhancement, but first be sure to have the Uniconverter. You can get it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. And if you are a new user, you can get 500 AI credits and a 7-day free trial, so don't miss out on this opportunity. The promotion is only available in English, however, but you'll find more detail about that in the description. So the face enhancement feature works with AI, so it doesn't just sharpen the image like you could do in any video editor software as an effort to fix a blurry image. You'll see the difference soon in between regular sharpening and AI face enhancement, so you'll understand what I mean. The face enhancer is in the video enhancer AI tool. One of the other updates in the video enhancer is the batch processing capabilities. So you can import up to 20 videos at a time and perform video enhancement in a batch. So I'll import these clips that were meant for for a social media ad, but they're out of focus. The clips are shown down here, as you can see, and as the next step, I click on the face enhancement. Here I need to choose whether I'd like to leave it in the original resolution or upscale it by two times or four times. I'll leave this as original, but the super resolution feature is very useful when it comes to older, lower resolution clips. Then I'll choose an output folder and click on export all. The process will begin and on each clip you'll see how the progress is going with estimated time shown, which is also a new feature. The process is finished, you'll see a successful label on each clip. Alright, now let's see the results. Here are the blurry clips and here are the face enhanced ones. Now take a look at the same clips where I only used a sharpen effect. So that is the face enhancement feature. It's easy to use and fast, so if this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions in the comment section and don't forget about the promotion. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.